my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's story time. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Hey y'all, so we gonna get right into it. This is technically, well I said I wasn't gonna call it a part two, but technically it is a part two because you need to go watch last week's story time to know what I'm talking about in this story time. So I'm gonna link it somewhere up here go watch that then come back to this video because i'm not re-explaining nothing i'm not repeating nothing no nothing so last time i left off i said kwan had said what he said about the girl that was the end of that like i had not talked to that man after that until i'm gonna tell y'all what happened right now so after that i met sean if you don't know who sean is if you're new here please just go back and watch old videos ask somebody in the comments i don't know what to tell you I feel like I keep telling y'all like I'm gonna make playlists. I'm trying to, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe I need to watch a tutorial or something because it never works. Like I go through the steps and then the playlists don't ever be on my channel. I don't know, whatever. So um, this is after Sean um, and this is after me and Devin had got together and we broke up, okay? So this is some time, some time, some time later. So. Like I said, me and Devin, we had broke up for the first time. And um, I'm going through, like, different phases. Like, at first, obviously, like, I'm heartbroken. I'm crying every night. I'm in my bed, tossing and turning like a rotisserie chicken. I can't sleep. Crying, crying, crying. And then, let me find out that one of the girls that this nigga was messing with, this ninja was messing with, told him something because like i'm heartbroken so like i'm on social media like tweeting like i'm tweeting whatever saying stuff about him in our relationship ex relationship whatever so let me find out that because also we was like okay so like we broke up and then like for that next month we was like talking still like we didn't know how to like go like completely no contact until this happened right so I guess one of the little girls that he was messing with told him that she was not going to mess with him until or unless I stopped tweeting about him. Because she, like, she felt some type of way. So how about this nigga call his stuff coming to me trying to check me about some shit that I'm tweeting on my page. Like you need to stop tweeting about me. You need to stop talking about me on social media. Um, we not together no more. He said something. When I tell you... I felt like that shit just put a battery in my bag because not you. Well, first, I got to remember who the fuck I am. Because now I got to remind you who the fuck I am. And he must have forgot, but he remembered very quickly after this. You gonna come check me over some bitch telling you that I need to stop? Copy. So we went completely. When I tell you that the nigga was blocked. Phone number was blocked. We had each other blocked on Instagram, Twitter, everything. Completely no contact. So now I'm like, all right, bitch. So now I'm back in my bag. Now I'm, you know, I'm not sad no more. Now, like I said, I got to remember who the fuck I am. So now I'm back tweeting. I'm back on my bullshit, all of this and that, whatever, whatever. So one day, I'm on the phone with um, Sparkle. I'm on FaceTime with her. And I get a notification that somebody done um, follow me on Twitter. So I go, I open the app, and it's Quan. Now, I don't know where he came from. Mind you, we had had no contact up until this point. Like, I wasn't following him on nothing. I wasn't checking up on him. I wasn't keeping tabs on him, no nothing. He was like an afterthought. So, I'm like, bitch, guess who just followed me on Twitter? Mind you, this girl saying every single name of every single nigga that I done talked to except for him. So, I'm like, no, you saying everybody name except the one name that I need you to say. So, I'm like, Quan. So she like, oh shit, like what you gonna do? I'm like, I'm not gonna do nothing. And I didn't, I didn't follow him back. I didn't acknowledge it, I didn't do nothing. Cause I'm trying to, I gotta like scope the scenery. I gotta like check the temperature. Like what this nigga up to? Because now that I got this battery back in my back and now I'm back on my bullshit, now I'm concocting a plan, right? I'm concocting a plan. Cause if he on the same type of time and I'm on, I need to go see a man about a horse. Because at this time, bitch, I need my screws knocked loose. I need my head knocked in between the washer and dryer, bitch. Um, it's like, I, I listen, and I would rather, now mind you, me and Quan, we had never like, like actually like done the do. We was just real like handsy, if you know what I mean. I can't do too much for YouTube. That's why like, 
I'm so upset that I'm telling this story because I really want to give y'all like details. And maybe this is why I need to make a membership so I can really like say what I want to say. Three, three yeses and I'm going to make a membership. Because we can talk about some shit on a membership. But anyways, we was like real heads. We never like did the do. But I was like, you know what? If I catch a body, I'd rather it be like an ex nigga than a new nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So... I'm like, let me see like what type of time he on because if he trying to spin again like he in some, if he trying to spin again on some I'm still in love with you type shit, I don't want to do that. But if he on like the same type of time that I'm on because we know we ain't going to be nothing again, then yeah, I need to go see that man about a horse. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. So I didn't acknowledge it. I didn't follow him back. I didn't. I paid him dust actually. So... A couple days go by and then I get notifications that somebody blowing me up on Instagram, like liking my shit, commenting, um, following me and some more shit. So I go and I open it and it's quiet. So I'm like, okay, this nigga want my attention for real. Not going to give it to him. But at this point, I don't went on a man page. I don't went on a man page. And remember I told y'all he was fine back then? Baby doesn't think he got grown. He done got some tattoos. He got facial hair for real. Like, he done got, like, a little swole. When I tell y'all this man was finer than your finest cousin, let me tell you something. This man was fine as hell. I can't do nothing with you, though. Because, like I always tell y'all, I hate a fine nigga who know he a fine nigga. I need you. I was just, I was just literally telling my mama this this morning. Literally this morning, he's on the phone. I need you to wake up and be ugly some days. I hate for a fine nigga to know that you just as fine as you are. I can't stand it. I can't do nothing with you, baby. I can't. And mind you, we done already tried this two times, so now you even more fi Hell nah. Hell nah. So, he doing that. And mind you, I done already screenshotted this, sent in a group chat and some more shit. Like, oh, look who trying to da 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 Right? I already got the notifications. I already seen you trying to make yourself be known, right? Another day go by. Why? It was like 3 or 4 a.m. I wake up, go to the bathroom or whatever. I check my phone. This nigga done unfollowed me, unliked all the stuff, deleted all the comments, and did it again. Literally did it again. So now I'm like, okay, you want my attention for real. So now I'm going to give it to you because, like, what are we doing? So I slid in his DMs and I said some shit like, damn, I saw it the first time. Like, you ain't got to do all this extra shit like I seen it the first time. So he wrote back, like, immediately, like, it got your attention, didn't it? And it did. And it did. And it damn sure did. So we chopping it up in the DMs. And he's saying shit like, I see you still fine as fuck. And I'm like, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. So we talking about like what we got going on in life now. I'm asking him about basketball. He asked me about school. What you got going on? I'm like, you know, nothing. Just shaking and moving. Not too much. Whatever, whatever. The real small talk. So. He like, um, your number's still the same, right? So I'm like, yeah, what's up? So he didn't respond to the DM. He FaceTimed me. Now, one thing about me, I hate a unsolicited FaceTime call. Please do not ever just randomly FaceTime me. Please. Unless we like cool like that. But like I said, I'm on a mission. So I'm going to answer this FaceTime call because I want to see what he on. So immediately I answered the FaceTime call. He all in the camera cheesing and smiling. Had to put the phone down. I had to put the phone down, y'all, because I'm supposed to be standing on business and I'm supposed to be going on a mission and I'm supposed to see this mission through. My knees turned into red jello or something. I don't know. He made me weak in the knees, real weak in the knees, because why is you smiling at me like that? And he had this thing where, like, he used to like to, like, make direct eye contact. Like, I feel like you looking into my soul. I don't like that. I put the phone down. So he like, nah, nah, nah. Nigga said, stop running. Come back to the camera. Stop running. Stop running. Please. Please. Wait. My God. My God. So we talking and we flirting and all of this and that. So he like, when you come back to the city, like when you come back home, boop de boop de boop. And I'm like, you know, actually, I'm glad that you asked because I was supposed to be going back home like within like the next two weeks because my sister was getting married and I was going to be there for like three, four days. So he like, that's perfect. You're going to slide on me, like pull up on me whenever you back home, da 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 And I'm trying to act like, I'm, I'm not trying to act like hard to get, but I'm trying to act like I'm like real unfazed. Like, all right, like, yeah, I think about it knowing good and damn well. Yeah, yeah, because man about the horse. Absolutely, I am. So he's 
saying like little shit to me like damn you don't miss me like you don't never think about like us getting back together nigga told me one time he had a dream that like we was married and our kids was so beautiful and like all of this sap shit so i'm just really trying to like gauge like you still got feelings or like what's up because like i don't still have feelings and let me just say this because pause the story real quick because I know people was confused about um, when I said, when I was talking about DJ and Samantha and I said like I could relate. Let me explain myself, right? I can relate in a sense of like, if me and a guy are actually talking, like we know we actually are in a talking situation, whatever we date and whatever. Not me assuming, not me just like you. And I think that we know, like we actually like verbalize, like I know what's going on with you. You know what's going on with me. We know what's going on with each other. We know what it is, right? We've talked about it. We both understand each other, right? Not me assuming, because that's what Samantha was doing in that story. She was assuming because she was humping on BJ them two, three times or whatever, that they was more than what they was. The nigga never told her, oh, this is what we doing. He just smashed and she just got in her feelings. Can't relate to that. But if we are talking and I have feelings for you and I feel like it's potential and I know that we potentially could turn into a relationship or I want us to turn into a relationship, I cannot do the casual humping on each other because once we hump, now we for real go together. You feel what I'm saying? Like, do that make sense to y'all? Because some of y'all was confused. I can't do that. And like, when, with like wrong. Like, we go together really bad. Now, I knew I could carry out this mission with Quan because I didn't have feelings for him no more. Like, that shit has sailed, like, a long time ago. Why? Because I don't already had the nigga two times. I'm never gonna let a nigga play in my face. Damn near two times, but definitely not three. Now, I know somebody probably looking at this like, Lauren, you know we know who Sean is, right? Okay, this happened after Sean. What do we learn? Amen. Amen. Can the church say amen? Yes, absolutely. So I'm not letting that know. So I knew I could go see a man about a horse and go to pound town and that just be that. It don't have to be no feelings involved, no nothing. Now normally, no, I can't do this, but I know for sure me and him not like I'm not even going to allow myself to go back to that place. So cool. So we talking or whatever for them couple weeks and mind you, he's taking it there with me. He, he's sending me pictures of him and the horse, okay? Yeah. What a fucking waste. Y'all, I promise y'all, y'all are not prepared for how this story is going to go. I promise you, you're not. I swear you're not. Literally. So he's sending me pictures of him and the horse, and we, we talking, we, we, he talking big shit. He talking big shit in the messages like, oh, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. I'm going to fold you up like Auntie Annie's in the middle of the mall. And I'm going to eat you like a cold slice of watermelon on a hot July day. And he, he talking that shit. I love when a nigga talk that shit. Because now I'm going to need you to stand on that when I'm in front of you. Okay? Yeah. So, whatever. And a couple weeks go by. Now I'm back at the crib. Now I'm back home. Now I'm back in South Carolina. Usually, how it used to go was me and my mom would ride together. She would drive her car because I don't feel like driving. And, okay. So, I had to go to my people's house and tell my mama, like, oh, I need, like, your car later on. Now, I had to be, like, real careful about, like, what I said because, mind you, this is, like, after me and Devin had broke up. And, like, far as she concerned, I'm still, like, heartbroken and crushed behind Devin. And now I'm finna, I can't, like, tell her, like, oh, I don't go, I don't, I'm not with Devin no more. Now I'm finna pull up on my ex nigga. Cause she knows Quan. We was together for a long time. Like, oh, I'm finna pull up on my ex nigga. Like, she, I just didn't want like no questions. Like, I didn't want her looking at me weird, no nothing. Like, even though like I'm grown technically, like, yeah, like it, it is what it is. I just didn't feel like hearing her mouth. So I just told her like, oh, I need the car later. I'm gonna go pull up on an old friend. An old friend, that's, that's not lying. He is an old friend. And yeah, so she just like, you know, whatever, take it. Um, be safe, no texting, driving, don't wreck my shit, whatever, whatever. So I'm at my people's house. I done took an everything shower. Everything. Ball like an eagle. Let me, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready, ready. Like I said, need my head knocked in between the washer and dryer. And not like knock your head in between the washer and dryer where somebody say like they wanna fight you. Like, no, I need you to, yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
I text him, I'm on the way, get to the house. Cool, right? Mind you, this is my ex. Very familiar with this house. Been over here plenty of times. You don't need to treat me like a stranger. I know where everything at. I'm so comfortable at this nigga house. He let me in. We hug or whatever. He let me in. He locked him up, like locking the door and stuff, putting the security system on. I'm already back in the room. I don't got to wait for you to guide me. No, nowhere. I'm so comfortable with this nigga. Like, even if this was not, like, my ex and we didn't have, like, history. Depending on, like, how comfortable I am with you, I'm never the just sit on the edge of the bed type of girl. Like, no. I done kicked my shoes off. It was cold in his room. I'm under the covers. I'm real comfortable. He didn't come back in the room for, like, three or five minutes. So, when he finally came in the room, he was like, damn, you comfortable, ain't it? It is. Absolutely. I'm like, don't act like... I'm a stranger. Like, don't act like I'm a guest. Like, this ain't, you ain't, like, this ain't nothing new. So, I'm in the bed. I'm under the covers, laid out in this nigga bed, on the pillows. And I'm laying there at first just on my phone. And then I'm laying on my back. And then I put, like, my knees, like, not to my chest. But, you know, like, you just got, like, your, your knees up, like, in the bed, like, on my phone like that. So, I remember his room was dark. He was playing, um music videos like on his tv so that was like the only light in the room so i'm on my phone just scrolling on instagram scrolling on twitter whatever i'm doing and he get beside me in the bed and he kind of like over me a little bit like he like got like his elbow like this really don't even like matter i'm just telling you like he got like his elbow like on the bed like leaned up like this like looking at me so i'm on my phone and i'm trying not to like look at this nigga because when I say he like to like look through your soul, I really want y'all to understand this. And like, I'm real weak in the knees for a nigga who like direct eye contact. Cause wait, wait, wait a minute. So he looking at me and he says some shit like, what you acting shy for? Mind you, voice the guy deep as hell. So I'm like, boy, shy. Like, ain't nobody shy. Like, I'm, just, I'm literally just, like, not talking. Like, what do you mean, like, I'm acting shy? So he like, all right, so what's up then? So I look at him, and I'm like, what's up? What you mean? And then I see him, like, scanning my face. <laughs> so I say some shit like, you keep looking at my lips. Like, what you, what you going to do with him? Pause the story right here. Pause the story right here. Did y'all see that one TikTok where the girl was like, you know, after you do the do, do you ever get like disgusted with yourself after this shit? Like after you realize the shit that you be saying, because like I didn't know my mother raised a filthy slut. Listen, we wasn't even like doing nothing yet. And like I'm, I'm popping my shit like my mouth is filthy. Filthy, and I don't be disgusted with myself, y'all. I'm not even gonna hold you. I actually be like really proud because, like, wow, what you said that shit that you was talking that was genius. Actually, like, I be proud of myself. Like, where did I learn how to say, like, when did I get bold like this? Like, ain't no way I be talking. Shit, let me tell you, and I don't be disgusted at all. I be proud. Do it again, say more next time. Absolutely. So. I said that like, oh, like you keep looking at my lips like what you gonna do with them, blah, blah, blah. Nigga came, cause mind you, I'm under the covers. He was under the covers too. Got out the bed, nigga then took his shirt off. Mind you, tatted it up now, tatted it up, tatted it up, up, okay? <sighs> took his shirt off, came by his shirt, then threw the covers from off of me. Mind you, like I said, my knees was up. Like, on the bed. Grabs my ankles. Okay, I got to be, like, real specific about what I'm going to tell y'all because I really want to, like, say what I want to say, but I can't be too explicit because YouTube is going to play with me. Okay. Pulls my ankles. Like, he's standing in front of the bed. Pulls my ankles. Pulls me down. Mind you, at this time, back then, I probably weighed, like, what, a buck 25, maybe, soaking wet. Pulls me down, pulls my ankles down towards him. So now I'm at the front of the bed with him. He's standing over me, just looking at me like, y'all know that one view with the chain dangling? He just be over you, you just be looking up like, fuck. 
Wow, wow. I almost folded again, I had to remember. I'm in control. I came over here on the mission, right? Okay, so now you know, talk to me, kissing and some other shit, like nasty, nasty tongue down the throat kissing. We doing all of that. He like licking on my neck, like kissing on my ear and stuff. And like, like I said, I came over here on the mission, bitch. I need to take control. So somehow, some way, I got him on the bed. Like I think like I just like leaned up while we was kissing. I kind of just like got his body like on the bed. So now I'm on top of him, right? Clothes just coming off, clothes coming off, clothes coming off. And back then, y'all, like, I used to be so, like, insecure about, like, my little mosquito bites. I used to deny, like, if I got, like, butt booty naked in front of you, like, that's how you know, like, yeah, like, I'm feeling you for real. Not saying, like, for him, but it's just, like, I'm comfortable with him, whatever. He didn't seen these little ant heels before. Okay, I don't mind coming up by my shirt. I don't care. So... I'm on top of him, I'm kissing, clothes coming off, he feeling all of me, whatever, whatever, right? So in the middle of us kissing, oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to get too explicit, but I do though. What I do, I want to tell y'all like every raunchy ass detail, I swear I do. So we kissing and in like the middle of us kissing, like he talking in my mouth. He like, he like, Now remember I said he was talking big shit in the messages like I'm gonna do blah 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 I'm gonna eat you the fuck up blah 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 right so bitch I had got excited I'm not even gonna hold you because like show me like since you better tell me something you better show me something you better show me something so whatever now I'm back on the bed and he get to doing what he doing and I'm just gonna say I was very 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 proud actually shocked but very proud because where you learn how to do this like you might think you grown for real like we really not like grown like we really don't even have like real life experience for real for you to be doing these moves like he hit the like dang what could I say he hit the like he hit the 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 eat it and finger combo do that make sense? Do somebody, like, please, I hope somebody understood that. Like, it was like combination. Combination. Feel me. Pick up what I'm putting down. Like, combination. When I tell y'all I'm in this man house screaming, screaming, I really want y'all to understand. I'm so glad he was home by himself. Please. Please. Y'all, I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I was not expecting this. So he's already setting the bar very high. So I'm like, because I don't mind you, I didn't see how the horse looked. I knew how the horse looked before, felt the horse before. But like I said, now he, he a little older. He think he grown now, got a little taller, a little bigger. Yeah, 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 like full grown horse. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, I need that. So he already set in the bar and the expectations super high. I'm like, yeah, he, so mind you, while he doing what he doing, like while he down there doing what he doing. Who the fuck is this? Yeah, it'd be some weird people. Let me put my phone down. So while he doing what he doing, he's, okay, how can I say this? He's touching his hot dog while he, you feel me? Okay, cool. That's normal. That's fine. But like he, he like damn near like doing it like, like the whole time. So once he come up from, he tried to, so I'm like, whoa, wait, like I know we got history and all of that and we exes and all of that and cool. Like, yeah, for sure. But like, where the hot dog going at? So he like, oh, oh yeah. What you mean? Oh yeah. Like I was just gone. Nah, I don't even play like that. You shouldn't even play like that. He's like, I know I'm good, but you don't know that. You was just gone. Come on now, where the hot dog button at? So he like, oh, reach under the pillow and grab it. It's right there. So reach under the pillow, grab the hot dog button, tear it open, give it to him, whatever. Okay, stick the hot dog button on. Okay, cool. Now we driving to Pound Town. Yeah. 
Yeah, we drive to pound town. Five pumps, maybe six. That kind of hurted me though. Five and a half. I ain't even like really like turn up for real yet. Like I ain't even really like. I'm starting to, you know, like, get into, you know, like, my character. Like, I'm trying to, you know, like, he on top, and I'm trying to, you know, like, get his hand, like, wrapped around my neck. Like, I'm trying to, you know, like, pull him close. Like, five, six pumps. And all you hear this nigga say is, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's what we do when we fucking... Yeah, for sure. But like, what? so he going out, and he just looking down. So I'm looking at him, and I'm looking down at the hot dog, and I'm looking at the hot dog bun, and I look back at him, and I look back down. He don't even want to make eye contact with me. Five, six pumps. Do y'all know how quick five, six pumps? Like, mind you, we wasn't going, like, super fast, but it was just, like, I didn't even, like, when he was, mind you, I'm on a mission. I got to see the mission through. I'm on a mission. Man about a horse. Why is the horse doing this? So he just, he just standing there. Now he not standing there. He like kneeled, like kneeled in the bed. He just looking down, and it was like silent for like a cool like ten seconds. And I said, "What just happened?" So he like fuck. And he just kept saying, "This ain't never happened to me before. This ain't never happened to me before. This ain't never happened to me before." That don't have nothing to do with me. Number one. And number two, how am I supposed to know that? So y'all, he get up, leave out the room, butt booty ass naked, go in the bathroom, doing what he doing. I didn't put my clothes back on at this point. Now this is how I knew I was like off this nigga for real because like if I still like had feelings for him even a little bit, we could have like started back up like from square one, like kissing and all of this and that and like we could get you back there. But it's just like five, six pumps. For real? Make any excuse you want for the boy. I don't care. Five, six pumps. And we, I'm supposed to be in here dangling from the chandelier, spinning on the ceiling fan, all of the above. We supposed to pound, 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 pound. What are you talking about? Fuck, this ain't ever happened to me before. Y'all, I'm irritated to the max. I'm so pissed off. So I put my clothes back on. He come back in the room. And he like, what you doing? I'm like, what do you mean what am I doing? He like, what you put your clothes back on for? Because I'm finna go in a little while. Like, what do you, what do you mean? So he was like, damn, it's like that? Mr. Five and a Half Pumps, it absolutely is like that. So I'm just like, yeah, like I'm I'm not in the mood no more. Like, I'm not. So he tried to like sauce me, and I'm not even gonna hold you. It kind of like it damn near kind of like worked a little bit. I'm not even gonna hold you. But he tried to like sauce me up, and, like kissing on my neck and stuff. And I'm just like, I mean, I I, I mean like. All right, like I'm not feeling him like that no more. Like I ain't in love with him, but like he's still fine. Like I, I got to see it through. I got to see it through. Okay, so the clothes come back off. Clothes come back off. We repeat all the steps. Boom, right? All right, cool. Where the other, you got another hot dog one? So at first he was like, no, I don't think so. Which, er, I'm finna put my clothes back on. But then he was like, oh, hold on. So went around the room, looked for whatever, whatever, found another hot dog one. Yeah, put that mother on. So he like, all right, you, um, you get on top. So I'm like, all right, so I'm on top and we doing the do and we doing the do. And this time, now I thought that after the first time you 
the second time it was gonna be like way longer like that's that's always been my experience with a guy like maybe you do too fast first but then like round two it's like yeah like yeah 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 maybe that's not for every guy because i'm on top 10 strokes i mean we didn't we didn't elevated and graduated from five and a half six ten strokes like i'm not even like i'm in my rhythm but not like fully maybe i'll give him like 12. we couldn't even make it to 20. 10 12. and all you hear him say was <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna ever say it. like the noise he made but he like audibly made like a noise and like his eyes rolled back a little bit and then like he was just looking at me so i get up off of him and i look down again the horse done went to sleep the horse not looking at me no more the horse not at attention the horse not ready to go the horse knocked out if you know what that means the horse Again, I did not. You was talking all of this shit in the messages. And like, mind you, the, you, you, the, you almost had me in the first half. You did. You almost had me in the first half. You damn sure did. I will give you that. I cannot take that away from you. Eater. But like, collectively, less than 20. So now I'm really irritated. And it ain't no starting back up. It ain't no three, it ain't, no, no, no. So he was like, bro, I don't know what's going on with me. Like you just, he tried to say, he tried to say like, you just so fine. Like this ain't never happened to me before. Like. I'm not gonna tell y'all like what he said Miss Mamas was giving, but like damn. You like you come on now. Hold it together. Like damn, I know what I give, but like collectively, less than 20 strokes. Are you okay? So now I'm irritated. I done put my clothes on. I don't even want to get back in bed with this nigga no more. I'm supposed to be on a mission. You're supposed to be knocking my Mario coins out. You're supposed to be knocking my screws loose. <sighs> so I put my clothes back on. I'm getting my purse. I'm getting my keys out of my purse. He like, don't leave. Like, wait. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I know you're finna talk shit about me to your friends. I'm probably finna end up in a group chat. Oh, because you know I'm finna speed dial call Spark when I leave here. You know it. You know it. You know that. I said, yeah, you probably is. I'm not even going to hold you. So he like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, you got to let me make it up to you. Like, when you leave, like, what day you leave. And I think I was in town because, like, my sister wedding was, like, um, the next day. And, like, I think we were staying, like, a day or two um, after, like, her wedding, too. So I'm telling him, like, oh, I leave on such and such day. So he, like, come back over here before you leave. I know in my head I'm not coming back over here. I'm not. But I'm not telling him that. I'm letting him think like, oh, maybe he can make it up to me. No. No, you can't. You can't make that up. You can't. Because now I have that image of you in my head. Really? Two rounds? Less than 20 strokes? Come on now. So I'm like, oh, I'll think about it. He was like, no, for real. Like, I'm going to get right. Like, that ain't never happened to me. I can't let you go out like that. What you mean? You can't let me go out like that. You shouldn't let yourself go out like that, buddy. So, yeah, and that was the last time I saw Quran. We did keep in contact a little bit after that. I want to say for maybe about like two, three more weeks because I didn't go back over to his house and I told him that I'm not coming back over. We did kind of like keep in contact, but I wasn't like pressed to always respond to him. Like he would respond to me on like a Monday. I might not write back until like Wednesday night. And it was just, it turned into that to where like we eventually just drifted off for good and we just stopped communicating until last week whenever I was in the messages and he sent that question mark. That was like my first time hearing from him in years. So yeah, that was that. Um, I really left out 
a whole bunch of details because I can't say what I want to say. This is why should we do a membership? Should we do a membership? It wouldn't even be expensive, but like, I just feel like if we have a membership, I can really like tell y'all and talk to y'all about a lot of things that I just would not put on my channel. So let me know if you're interested in that, because I'll do it. I'll do it. I will. And speaking on that, oh, before I get into this, thank you if you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you. Um, that was the end of the Quan saga. Um, I do have like a few more stories like here and there about him that maybe I'll tell y'all we're going to give Quan a, a break for right now though. Um, yes, if you made it to the end of this story, thank you so much. But before I end the video, I do just want to say this because speaking on like membership and oh, um, I would tell like the membership stuff that I don't want on my channel. Okay, so I had full intentions on doing a questions video for y'all this week. I'm still gonna do it. It's not gonna be this week and let me tell you why. Cause if you wanna ask me a question, it's not on my story no more, but it is in my link tree. So if you go on my Instagram page, click on my link tree, it's the first like link or whatever, you can click on that and ask me a question. When I say I got over a hundred something questions in 95, 98% of those questions were the same exact thing let me just because i don't want to rant but i feel like it's kind of needed and i'm not saying this in a way to be mean to y'all or talk at y'all or nothing so let me check my tone what i will say is this right um besides this youtube stuff besides keep it on the low besides this channel i'm a real person at the end of the day right um, I'm Lauren at the end of the day, offline, right, in my real life. And I go through real life things. And just being a content creator, I am open and honest and transparent with y'all. I put y'all in a lot of my business. That don't mean that I want all of my business on YouTube, on the internet, on Instagram, nothing, right? Like, I pick and choose what I want y'all to know. And I feel like if you love and you support me, you should be okay with that. You shouldn't expect me to put every single detail of my life on the internet because I want to keep some stuff close and personal to me, right? Um, and I, I feel like that's not just me. That, that just goes for everybody. Like, I don't want every single detail about my life on the internet. When I tell y'all, all of y'all ask the same questions... Where's Devin? Are you still married? Why you don't wear your wedding ring? What's the status of your relationship? Like all of this stuff. Let me just say this and say this now because if you are waiting for the questions video just to get the answer to that question, you're not going to get it because I'm not talking about that on my channel. Unless or until, which probably will never happen, I decide to do that. It's like, and I feel like some of y'all was, it was like, y'all was like, telling me like girl like i know i told y'all like about like our wedding and stuff and like my bachelorette party and like all i mean my bachelorette trip and like all of this stuff and like that's fine that's great like i said i tell y'all what i choose to tell y'all i tell y'all things that i want y'all to know but to expect me to give out every single detail of my life for YouTube, it's just, it's not going to be me. So if you are subscribed to me for that reason, I'm so sorry. I really hope that the people who fuck with me for real understand where I'm coming from. That's just not something that I desire to talk about on my channel. Just out of respect for him, out of respect for myself, I'm never going to like bash him or nothing. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. For sure he is. I'm just not going into details about nothing. And y'all been asking for months, for months and months and months. We not talking about that on this channel. We not, we not. So I hope that y'all can respect that. I hope that y'all understand that. Just know I go through stuff, even since I've started this channel two years ago, I've gone through a lot of good stuff and a lot, a lot of bad stuff that y'all don't even know about. And that's just not something that I want to talk about on my channel. However, 
if I do make a membership, I know that that would be a group of people who like you paying to get this content. And like, I'm not saying people can't like pay for stuff and like it be malicious and somebody like do something like sneaky and conniving with it. But I know like that smaller community of people, I maybe would trust with a lot more than I trust on my main channel. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not saying that like, oh, she's trying to get us to, to, um, subscribe to her membership so she can no i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying like certain things that i probably would never put on my main channel i would put on a membership if i decided to create one so um just know Devin good i'm good y'all can run with whatever narrative that y'all want to i am completely okay with that because i know what goes on in my real life he knows what goes on in his real life and that's just that just it is what it is i know a lot of y'all probably was hoping for a different answer and a different outcome but that's just not something that i'm comfortable um discussing and y'all was asking like i don't know like maybe i shouldn't do a questions video because like it's the difference between like you asking because you're genuinely like curious about who I am and like stuff that goes on in my life and then like it's a different thing to like just expecting me to talk about something just because I'm a YouTuber just because I'm a content creator whatever I don't know somebody can feel me you don't gotta feel me I will die on this hill by myself if need be that's completely fine with me I do really appreciate all of the people who do support me at the end of the day um and you were just asking because you're curious and you just maybe want to know um answer or no answer um i'm good at the end of the day and yeah that is it is what it is so please if you do want a questions video i need more questions because right now the questions that i have the video would literally be like less than five minutes long like i want a lot of questions so we can make good content out of that so like i said follow me on instagram click the link tree in my bio on my instagram page and then it will take you to the question site whatever it's called and then we can go from there but yeah i'm sorry i just had this long rant i just had to get that off my chest i really wasn't even sure if i even wanted to address that like i was just gonna make the questions video and answer what i wanted to answer and i was just gonna ignore all the 70 80 plus people asking the same question a million different ways um but i'm not gonna do y'all like that so thank you so much for respecting my privacy um i appreciate y'all i love y'all so much and i'm gonna see y'all next week for two brand new videos